Hey guys, Mike here. So I want to bring something to your attention. Not the fact that, you know, our system is completely corrupt when it comes to our political system. I think we all kind of know that. But believe it or not, there are some people that do not. Um, but I'm going to show you what's going on as far as that and how it's going to affect a certain group of stocks. And those stocks are going to be semiconductor stocks. We all know there's a big chip shortage. I know a lot of you guys are into uh, NVIDIA. Um, Taiwan Semiconductors, AMD, and others like that. Qualcomm's another one. And there's a bill they're trying to get pushed through before the end of the month. And when I see some bigwig like Nancy Pelosi loading the boat on one of these semiconductor stocks, that kind of lets me know she thinks she has the vote, the votes at least in the House. I don't know about the Senate, but you can see right here, she's urging this chips bill after hours, after disclosing her $8 million stake in nvidia and you can see right here they just load the boat in june her husband's the one that does all the buying Twenty thousand shares at around 155 i believe that is but they bought way more than that even coming into last year and this bill right here what's going to be good about for chip companies is it's basically free money so what they're going to do is the government's going to take our tax dollars and provide an income tax credit for semiconductor equipment or manufacturing facility investment through 2026. The bill also establishes a trust fund to be allocated upon reaching an agreement with foreign government partners to promote consistency in policies related to microelectronics, transparency in microelectronics supply chains, and alignment in policy towards non-market economies. And it goes on to say, which is the important part here, commerce shall also establish a program to match state and local government incentives offered to private entities for the purposes of building fabrication facilities relating to semiconductor manufacturing. Further, commerce shall assess the capabilities of the U.S. industrial base to support the national defense in light of the global nature of supply chains and interdependencies between the industrial bases of the U.S. and foreign countries with respect to manufacturing and design of semiconductors. And in case you're unaware, like Nancy Pelosi's husband done this multiple times where a bill's coming through, he'll load the boat, boom, the bill passes. And so shocking there, because guess what? He might have a little insider information, okay? Maybe it's called pillow talk, I don't know. But yeah, and so if they're spending that kind of money, I think at least in the house, she thinks she has the votes. And of course, it's a shame. I mean, that you know, it, it takes this that situation we're in now to actually get something like this passed. This, this should have been done years ago. Unbelievably, they they're fell asleep at the wheel on that one. Uh, but you know, it really is just free money for these, you know, these uh, semiconductor stock or semiconductor companies, right? And so that's always a good thing. Never hurts. Helps them with the bottom line, right? And so hopefully they'll put more into that, which is great. But understand, you know, to show you the, the corruptness of this system, don't forget, guys, you were talking about a system where Fed officials who, who make monetary policy, when they got caught, actually sold about seven days before this crash started to take place. So they sold at the top where they traded all the way through 2020 and 2021 while they made the monetary policy. And I love this tweet right here, which to me describes perfectly what happens in, in the government. It must be nice to own the casino, run the casino, be the dealer, pit boss, and player. Then when blank hits the fan, you also get to be the judge and jury while investigating yourself. Because remember, it was come up, they did nothing wrong. These guys never, the politicians, the Fed officials never do anything wrong whatsoever. And by the way, if you get anything out of this, please hit that like and subscribe button for me. I really appreciate it. Think about sharing the video. As always, guys, thank you for all your support. And one more story which got my blood pumping. This popped up in the feed. It's kind of an older story. But Moderna, right, they actually are giving their CEO a golden parachute of close to a billion dollars. That's right, $923 million golden parachute, right, when he leaves the company and stuff. The guy's already cashed out $165 million already in options. Uh, the chief technical officer, $194 million. And the reason why it boils my blood, I mean, understand, is, is the fact that obviously they were a small company before this, right? And then all of a sudden they get this vaccine, all right? And so Moderna sold $17.7 billion of, sh of the shots in 2021, accounted for virtually all of the company's revenue. They're projected to make $19 billion in sales in 2022 based on signed sales agreements with governments across the world. Now, you know, I don't understand why you're mad about that. Because it was our tax dollars, $2.48 billion in research and development and supply funding from the U.S. government that gave them this deal. And then on top of that, that should have put the vaccine at $25, actually less. And they ended up selling it for $32 to $37. 
And so I know I'm in the minority on this. I have no doubt about that, but I'm sorry. $2.5 billion, when I see stuff like that, do you know how many Social Security checks that is? How many teachers' paychecks that is? How many school books? You know, things we could actually put it towards. And I don't mind getting, you know, sit there and supplying money. But if you can be making record profits and giving your CEO almost a billion dollar golden parachute to get out, you can pay back the money. That's the way it needs to be supplied. If it doesn't work, fine, we'll eat it. But if the vaccine works and you're going to make how much money off that, you got to give that money back. I'm sorry. 2.5 billion. I'm going to get some interest on that. But that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. It's just insane to me. You know, and, and I even talked to a friend of mine, this kind of goes off the cuff, but, and if you're in the business, let me know, but who's a pharmaceutical sales rep, and he was telling me, I said, why do we, in, why in America do we have to pay so much for our drugs compared to other countries? I'm talking about other industrialized nations, Canada, England, France, Germany, and he said, there's only like three countries that actually make all of the world's drugs, the majority of them, and here in America, that's where you get your money, because we have like the, we're the only industrialized country to have that don't have universal health care and we're a for-profit health care system from the bottom to the top or top to the bottom and so other countries don't they're not going to pay that kind of money for those drugs so they'll make a little bit of money but here this is the honey pot right and because we deal with it we let our politicians screw us over right and left on that right and so while they have the best health care system in the world our politicians do you know i think it's the gold plan or whatever they call it up there but, you know, it's ridiculous. I mean, you've seen how much they pay for insulin in Canada versus the same insulin right here in America. You know, you got people rationing insulin. Don't get me started. I could go on for like an hour on this in this mess. But, you know, sit there and see that and go, what? $2.5 billion. We, we gave out $10 billion total. But I'm like, dude, before you guys start raking in record profits and giving your CEOs and executives this kind of compensation for something we help fund, I'm sorry. You got to give that money back. You just got to. That's just the way it's got to be. You know, and how people don't see a problem with that, I just don't get it. I guess because, you know, we look at a billion or a million like it's chump change now that we're trillions of dollars in debt. But, you know, I'm sorry, man. And plus, hey, I, we need a new tax deduction. If we're going to supply the world with all this medicine and they get it at a discount, we don't. I need, I need a new tax deduction. I don't know what you want to call it, but daddy needs a new tax deduction and so do you. We deserve it. That's our tax money. If you're in the middle class, you're paying taxes. Okay, you pay plenty of tax, a big percentage. So... Yeah, we, we need some more tax breaks on that part of it. Thank you very much. So anyway, I can keep ranting on that, but let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.